Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. Again. Yeah. Same place, different room. Yeah. Um. And there was a big event in between. True. Yeah. yeah how to start? <laughs> sure. Um, well. How how are you feeling? Uh, <laughs> you know, Chris, I'm feeling amazing. It was such a crazy good experience. You know, the vibes were amazing. We had so much fun, and you know, you know, being part of it was everything for me. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not. <clears throat> No, uh, to be honest, it feels pretty uh, shit. I mean, I didn't really go with expectations. I didn't, I mean, I knew I could make it to finals, but I didn't go with the expectation that I have to make it to finals. And after bouldering, it kind of felt bad. It wasn't a good round for me. And I didn't get very many points. And I knew I'd have to have a good lead performance to have a chance. Mm. And then... That's why I was not really stressed, to be honest, for some reason. Usually that's the moments where I should be stressed because I know I have to perform really well. But for me, it was more like uh, I'm not playing it safe. I'm going all in and I'm just trying to like climb really well and lead. And then the frustrating part was that I climbed so well and then literally just slipped like in a such strange way. You know, it was not that... You could feel, ah, the foothold is uncomfortable and maybe you will slip. You know, sometimes you feel that and then you anyway pay attention more and you're, even if the foot slips, you hold on with your hands. Mm, because you're expecting it. Because you're expecting yeah. it. Yeah. And I put my foot on there and it felt so solid mm. and I was really in the flow and in the game and then like it popped so unexpectedly that I, I couldn't do anything. And... Which was frustrating because afterwards, when I saw the score, like a lot of people fell quite low on like this bump move. Yeah, and uh, twenty one. Yeah, twenty one points. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve points only. Was oh, yeah, points, hold, but I mean uh, hold whole twenty one or something. Yeah. 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 Yeah, which is crazy because that felt super solid for me, and then afterwards, like after I passed that move, I knew I was in the game. And even in my head, I was thinking, ah, oh, crazy, I'm in the game. Everything is perfect. And I was such in such a good flow. And the next thing I can remember is that I'm sitting in the row. The interesting thing is that uh, things like this never happened before in a comp. In a World Cup final, for example, or semi-final. Not anymore for a long time. Yeah, for a very long time. Yeah, I remember... Also not in training. Also not in training. I remember two occasions where it did happen in a World Cup final. It was one time in Villar hmm. where Sean Bailey won hmm. and I became second. I think it was in 2021, yeah. three years ago or something. Yeah. Yeah. And the other time was in, I think it was in Chamonix. And that I think was 2019 or something. Hmm. Or maybe... Uh, yeah, could be. Yeah, something like 2019, so five years ago, where I really remember mm. slipping so unexpectedly and falling. But yeah, in the last five years, that happened like in important competitions, like maybe uh, that was the third time. So that's, yeah, a shit feeling because like the whole uh, last season, I felt super, super solid in lead. Yeah. And I mean, I climbed super well, always into finals and... Like, my worst place was fifth. So, yeah, I was really feeling good for uh, for the Olympics. Because I remember last Olympics in Tokyo, I was super nervous. Bouldering was okay, because, I don't know, bouldering is just always... Yeah. It's it's more chill yeah. for some reason. You're not as nervous. Also in isolation. Yes. In the warming up. Yeah. It's more like playing around and... Exactly. Trying the moves and exactly. be bouncy. Exactly. And the lead, everything is silent. Yes. That's funny, huh? Yeah. Every, nobody speaks. And it's only about this one goal. Yeah. yeah. In Tokyo, I climbed so shit in lead. I remember feeling so bad in lead. I climbed super tense. I had no flow. I was getting pumped super fast. Everything felt super hard and... I didn't climb well at all. And I didn't want this to happen on Paris. Yeah, and we worked hard. We worked crazy. Hard and like mentally I worked a lot with like like 
thoughts and breathing and everything yeah. and and it felt from the first quick draw in Paris it felt so yeah, good it was on point yeah also your your fitness yeah I, I mean we, we had the last sessions together yeah and I was like okay you know yeah crazy yeah this guy is super strong now yeah yeah and that's exactly how it felt in lead and then yeah it was over before it started kind of because now looking back I think with With the lead route, it really would have not been super hard for me to make finals. Mm. If I would have had an okay goal, I didn't even need like a crazy good goal in lead. Like an okay goal would have probably been enough for me. <clears throat> But yeah, I never really got that far, unfortunately. So that was quite frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, this is. What did you felt like? It was disappointment or like. I mean, it was a lot of anger, anger, yeah, and a lot of disappointment because, like, I worked for more than one year, like, really hard to first get to the Olympics and then, of course, perform well as well. And I, I don't want to say it was for nothing, but you know, that's what it felt like after the competition. Yeah, it's never, yeah, never for nothing. But, but it felt super yeah. useless and just didn't make any sense after the competition. Everything was, yeah annoying and it all felt like this was the chance and now it's over so yeah we'll see i think i'll need a bit of a break from competitions and then climb maybe some more like climb outdoor first and then maybe some more lead competitions next year yeah But i don't know i have the feeling that uh, the case is not close for you no you it's know? not it's a uh, i i feel it a little bit yeah <laughs> yeah because you're kind of you you're like okay no 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 i have to finish the business yeah like for sure which is i think it's it's cool i mean it's yeah. not over yet huh yeah. i mean jacob is also older so yeah fuck the age this thing age yeah. thing because yeah. you, you can't compare because in the later days all the um, support and also the mentality of of the society was totally different. Yeah. With 30, you have to have kids, and a house, working 40 hours and everything. And I know a lot of very good athletes on the, on the past days who quit competition climbing because it was time to quit. Yeah. They were super strong, yeah. you know? So, and now a lot of things changed, I think. And if you still feel good, And you're psyched, and you can, and you can uh, run the race. Why not? Why not? Yeah. And I mean, you're a full sponsored athlete. You're, you can do whatever you want. You know, like. Yeah, and it's right. And for and now, for the I last mean, year, I really figured out how to compete well in lead. Almost, you know. I mean, I competed well in lead before, but like the mental game is much much stronger now than it was before, and. For the first time, really, it feels really good, and I can handle the pressure super well and lead, and it's so much more fun to compete. No, so the case is not closed. No, it's not, and yeah, I, to go back to this age thing, I mean, it's all about yourself, and and I always have, have the feeling that the people who are complaining about the ages, about athletes, are the people who are like super unhappy with their own lives. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. and it's it's always the same. If you get con confronted with uh, things like, um, "Hey, do you, you don't want to stop? Now you're 30 and no. um, and it's time, and, and it's time, and yeah. you, you want to do so something different, something and real in your life, something <laughs> real." And I'm like, "Come on, man! I'm 30, but I'm fit as fuck, yeah. and I, I, funny, I, huh? I don't." I also don't tell you what you need to do. Yeah. So it's time for you to change something. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. yeah, I don't know. But you know what I mean. So Yeah, for sure. It's I think we both for the for some reason in the last years we made like a huge progress in lead climbing and our climbing in general. We're still doing. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I uh Yeah, you as well, no? Yeah. I think there's some ups and I downs. I explored you know, my legs. Like, yeah. Yeah, I can use them. Yeah. Yeah. You actually have legs. You can yeah, I can, I can use them in climbing. That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe we should take a little uh, 
101 from wisdom to how using the legs <laughs> is good for climbing <laughs> from a person with no bicep. <laughs> no, but it's it's good. So, I mean, I feel still that some bad days, like for example today, are um, quite shit. But then the good days are really good. And yeah, you have to you have to change your training for sort of philosophy yeah. yeah for sure you need to train smarter and when i was 18 i could train for weeks and weeks and weeks and sleep shit and eat shit and feel no. shit but still perform okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and now go it's a partying different. or something and yeah. it doesn't matter so much but now i need my <laughs> my previous sleep yeah. <laughs> for sure and like good nutrition i don't drink like alcohol i don't and... go partying yeah because it's uh it has a great effect on me yeah No, you're right. It makes a huge difference. Cool. <laughs> I never think alcohol, but I definitely feel when I'm not rested that it's like the climbing performance suffers a lot. Yeah. So, no, it's good. Yeah, uh, but how was it when you... I remember we had our last session here and you were super psyched. Yeah. I mean, the Olympics, the general experience was amazing. Yeah. You like, you arrived there by train? We arrived there by train. Which was a hassle. Which was a hassle because the Deutsche Bahn really didn't think about um, uh, the people going to Paris and didn't, uh, you know, have more trains going. Mm. So almost every train was booked. So it was a hassle to get there. But well, so you can't get a ticket. Yeah, you couldn't get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got there. Thankfully, everybody got there. Yeah. And um, uh, Sagi and Ingo, the coaches, were already there. Um, Schlagi also came, of course. Oh, head physio. Yeah. No, no that's not the head uh, physio, but yeah, for, for the Olympics. For us, he's the head chief executive. Director. Master executive. Yeah. yeah. And um, he can definitely execute you with his <laughs> physio treatment. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, who, by the way, I'm really not supposed to say this, probably, but he's got the rings tattooed on his butt cheek. <laughs> Now his wife knows. <laughs> his wife, um, I guess, knows potentially, but now everybody knows. No, everybody yeah. knows. And if he's trying to tell you it's a lie, it's not. It's, um, <laughs> it's he really scary. went all in and he's the absolute legend. I was really glad to have him again. Last, I mean, he was the only person who was already with me in Tokyo. Yeah, because he, he has the license. He has the license, the he used license, and then our, yeah. back then our coach, Urs, who was in Tokyo, he's um, uh, now sports director for the Swiss team again. And the other athlete, Jan, is retired. So uh, actually, Schlag and I were the only ones who did Tokyo and Paris together. Nice. So it was uh, quite cool. And, and he's a very excellent physio. Yeah, he is. He's a super good physio. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh. And yeah, we had a great time. Like the village was super cool. We explored a lot with uh, Lucy and Yannick and... Uh, Went to one gym before the competition. Went to the competition menu for the last training. It was like there was like an official training there. When you arrived there, yeah, you. So you you're on the Gare de Lyon, no Gare de, uh, Gare de I don't even know like yeah, Paris okay. train station. And then you there's a shuttle that ah, was okay. waiting for us. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, they picked yeah. us up. They brought us to the village. We got our accreditations. Okay, and it's hard to enter the village. If like with security and things. And only the official taxis hmm. of the Olympics can okay. get near the village. Ah, near. Okay. Yes. There is everywhere yeah, around. Yeah. There are roadblocks and there is... Yeah. In Paris alone, there was, I think, almost 40,000 police officers. Hmm. So it's like the amount of police that we have in uh, the yeah. whole of Bavaria. In Bavaria, yeah. And plus military as well, more military. Hmm. Because they had like... Patrols on yeah, yeah. every cross. It, it's different in France, right? Yeah. With the military, you couldn't get with a normal car. You couldn't get anywhere near the Olympic yeah. Village. Only with an official Olympics car and the cabs and the shuttles, they were allowed to get to the entrance of the village. And then you have security check to get into the village. You get your accreditation, and then with your accreditation, you always need it all the time. With your accreditation, you access shuttles. You access the village. You can go in and out and everything. And then we went training the first day into a normal gym in Paris. And the second day, we took the shuttle to the venue and climbed on the competition wall. And they kind of run us through the whole procedure of the competition. Mm -hmm. So kind of everybody knows what to do. Yeah. So they kind of simulate the comp yeah, yeah. and okay. they show you which like also entry. The <laughs> <laughs> This is the podium. <laughs> no, they like so that everybody knows which exit to take to the boulders. 
like where the boulders will be. It was the same order as um, as we had in the practice. It was like from from right to left, mm -hmm. and then which exit to take and what you have to do afterwards and so on. Okay. So everybody knows how the isolation zone looks, how to get from isolation zone to the competition venue and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the organization organization was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Then we had one rest day and then we had bouldering, rest day lead. The venue was super good, and there was lots of people to uh, to watch. Yeah. So it was. And all the good. World Cups, for example, or World Championships or yeah. European Championships in France are like yeah. amazing. I remember, I think 2016, we had the World Championship yes. in this Arcos Arena. Yeah, it could oh, be, uh, could be something like that. Something it was like that. somewhere in France, in the in Paris, in the. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was next to the. It's it's this arena next to the Biblio. Bibliotheque. Bibliotheque, yeah. Library. Library, yeah. With a big bridge in between. Uh, okay. To I don't know. But it was um, it was crazy. Yeah. Like off of a stadium full of people and yeah. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, they had um a lot of spectators there too. Yeah. And of course a lot of cheering and I mean nice. Yeah, when you can imagine a French athlete climbing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. There was so many flags yeah. and everybody was cheering so loud. It was super cool to see. That's super cool, yeah. Yeah. But no, it's, uh, it's good. I'm happy we at least had one person more in the German team now. Like we almost filled our quota of four people. So maybe, hopefully for the next Olympics, they will have lead as a single discipline. Then uh, The chances are bigger yeah. for the next Olympics. Yeah. What do you think will happen? Will they... Huh. Will we finally have... Um, three disciplines and three, three medals? Yeah. Like, like I think speed, bold, and lead? Or? Speed will definitely be safe. Yeah. Because it was it was also crazy that, yeah. I mean, the female world record, I think, and the male record was yeah. broken twice, I think, in I the think competition. Three times. Or maybe three times. Yeah. Crazy. It's insane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The final race was deciding the gold medal was like the fastest race ever. Yeah. yeah. So. And it's an amazing sport. Yes. To watch. It's, For sure. It's easy to watch, like to understand. Yeah, and uh, it goes fast. It's not boring. It, yeah. it's it's an exactly. incredible sport, of course. Yeah. yeah. Now I I'm lead climbing king discipline, of course. Was <laughs> best discipline ever. I mean, easy but to, it's also easy to. It's easy to understand. To understand, yeah. Because you know, okay, uh, nice. whoever climbs furthest and the highest yeah. wins. Yeah. Bouldering, Bouldering is a bit tricky. more tricky. Yeah. So much about route setting and mm -hmm. and even then, it's hard to understand like why he's not moving. Yes. And why this guy is doing it easily. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's hard to understand if you don't know anything about climbing versus I think in speed climbing, it's the easiest to understand. But also in lead, if you uh, just explain to somebody, uh, whoever gets the furthest yeah. wins, yeah. it's easy to understand. In yeah. bouldering, it's like, yeah, well, you have either <laughs> points or tops. And like, if you get so and so many tops in less attempts or yeah. so and so many zones in less attempts, it's like a bit harder to understand. Yeah, and sometimes you, when the boulder is like... Not well set it. Yeah. So the people standing like four minutes on the mat and not doing anything. Yeah, I mean, that happened. I mean, it's the same with, for example, uh, surfing. Yeah. I watch surfing. Yeah. If there's no waves, there's no yeah, waves. There's nothing happening. Yeah. But yeah. But um, there are rumors potentially that there will be three medals, which would be super cool. And I think I'm assuming it will be uh, weightlifting and bouldering. Yes. Finally. The perfect combination. It's a bench press. And <laughs> um, it's the double B bench press bouldering. <laughs> no, I don't know. I could imagine it's uh, lead and speed as single medals. Mm. And then maybe they will decide whether probably they will have bouldering a single medal or maybe they will do a, a third medal, maybe another combination. Like lead and like, like it is now. Maybe lead and bouldering. Third. Maybe they will even decide to do lead boulder speed. I don't even know. I have no idea. But there could be a combination, but it maybe they will just say, okay, fuck it, three medals, speed ball the lead. Yeah. Could also be. Yeah. But uh, if we would have more medals like the swimmers do, I'd have super uh, good disciplines. We could do like still beastmakers discipline. We can do campusing as discipline. It would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. Pull ups. Mm. Pull ups. Ah, what's that? Mm? You found us finally? Mm. Mm. You say it's time to finish up, huh? Yeah. Potentially yeah. it's time to finish up. Yeah. Well, anyway. It's over now. Well, um, prepare for the next thing, I would say. 
next thing for me is a bit of a break, go to Rocks, and for you it's European Championships, no? Sure. In Villar. And then we go together to Copa. <laughs> no. I hope so, no? No, I'm not going. Oh, no, sorry, no, no. Really? Yeah, it's beginning of September. Okay. I will still be gone. Okay. Because I saw you on the list. Yeah, just because I have my own spot, but I'm not going. Okay. No. I know, I know. But then we'll go together to England. There's an event happening. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. will learn more about it through our social media, for sure. Yeah. There might also be a YouTube video coming out about that. It mm -hmm. will be legendary. <clears throat> yeah, it will be, for uh, sure. And uh, we'll all meet uh, a few people there. and uh, It's going to be good fun. For you, not for me. Ah, it'll be fun for us. I will be sitting there like, eh. Um, uh, um, um, uh, <laughs> can you please uh, repeat the question for me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, it will be good fun. I'm Chris uh, from the Germany. From the ge ah, is this the Chris from the YouTube channel? From the <laughs> fuck. No, it will yeah, be fun. need to improve my English a little bit. Well, maybe also meet Would Molly it? potentially. Oh yes, that'll be fun. <sighs> And then we in October we're planning to open our gym. No, Mike. Fully have it ready for bookings and everything. Yeah, the bouldering gym. The bouldering gym. Yeah. And we're also doing like some kids trainings. We'll also communicate that on socials as well. True. Yeah, we plan to do three little uh, yeah. kids comp camps. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're getting there slowly. Mm -hmm. Where we want to get, <laughs> by the way. No, I mean, uh, to be honest, we are already where we want to be. Yeah? That's we're climb. In our own gym and we <laughs> can climb uh, potentially uh, almost all the time. <laughs> no, I think uh, we're in a good way. Yeah, so. could be better, could be worse. Yeah. Yeah. I still want to say thank you for all the support I received. It didn't go uh, my way, unfortunately, this time, but... Yeah, that's how it is sometimes. And uh, that's how it is. Um, no, we'll not give up, and we'll continue. Amen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe you don't want to hear it, but it is incredible. Hard to get to the Olympics two times now. Yeah. And uh, I think maybe often people don't see it, how much you have to invest as an athlete. Like, because I, I read some comments uh, below some postings of our federation, mm -hmm. like, uh, I expected more and because of the great support from the government or anything, and I was like, okay, funny, because the last two athletes in the last Olympics from our federation were two athletes which... Did everything by themselves? By themselves, and... Um, Yeah, it's um, still tricky and you still have to invest a lot of your own resources and energy into training, into performing and everything. So it's uh, it's for sure a sacrifice. But yeah, I think sometimes yeah, it is, people and see it a I mean, different it, than it actually is. I, I don't know. Can I, can I uh, <clears throat> ask you something? Like how much money you got in the past years from the government... To you mean not from the DAV, but from... No, the not from DAV. It's our sports federation, yeah. which does a great job and does everything. Yeah, for does, sure. Does a lot to, to improve and everything. No, yeah. I really mean, mean the government in Germany. I mean, I only got from the um, uh, Olympic um, uh, Sports Club in Germany, the DOSB. I, got, I get, like, um, athlete support. Yeah, it's called Sports Hilfe. Sport Hilfe, Hilfe. Yeah. exactly, which is... Not a lot. I mean, you cannot you cannot live off that. How much is it for an Olympic? Uh, 800 euros a month. 800 euros a month. Yeah. When you are in the Olympic team? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And when you are in the perspective team? I don't really know, to be honest. Okay. It depends a little bit, but sometimes it can go up to maybe 1,000 euros, but I don't think more than that, depending okay. on how much aid you need. And, but, yeah. 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 So it's... Um, It's not a lot. You cannot make a living off of it. You need to have a second, like a second job, or you need to have 
like you or in the in the military in the sports military you or need police. to or police or you need to uh, root such these places are like really rare yeah there's like five or something no yeah oh. and it's so. you have always have the pressure to to uh, you need to perform otherwise you're out yeah like oh, that's exactly how it is with the police as well so yeah and yeah. the difference is in the police you 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 become a police officer so. yeah in the military and yeah. you have to decide i mean in the, in the first thing you want to do the sport yes but then you have to decide to be a police officer a police af afterwards after before, yeah. so that's interesting yeah yeah i mean i'm super happy that these possibilities are there yeah but it's uh well, but you definitely need more possibilities because we have more athletes than possibilities yeah i mean Of course, you can argue that uh, what is it about the sports and why should the government support the sport and anything. But when I look at our society, how unhealthy we, yeah. we society, got. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, like, like look in the, in the school sports. They are like, uh, it's a first thing which yeah. got restricted. Yeah. The kids are getting unhealthy, yeah. unsporty. Yeah. And in the end, it is... It will cost us so much money because yeah. of people don't see that in the of beginning. the health insurance and yeah. you know, like and everything because. Yeah. yeah. So well, this is um, like a whole system that needs uh, a bit of a do-over and a bit of a change to change all that. But yeah, I agree. It's um, yeah, maybe Germany is for sure not the best to support like professional athletes. There's for sure better systems, but it's also the support is not super great in general in, in, in Germany. I, I have the say. feeling it's it's dying in the moment. Yeah. Like when I look to other sports in Germany, it's crazy. Yeah. Other sports, I mean... You, like swimming. Rowing. And yeah. I mean, the, the, the gyms are getting closed in swimming because yeah. they cost too much to the communes. Yeah. And stuff. And That's difficult. It is difficult, yeah. Hmm. Well, I think we can only um, pray to our uh, Wolfgang up here. <laughs> yeah. uh, give us a better system at some point and more support for uh, for athletes. Yeah. All right. What do you reckon? Time to leave. I guess so. You need to hit the road. Hit the road. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. And I, I, I need to rest. <laughs> yes. After today's performance, yes. <laughs> that's why it's not on camera. It was too shit. We both performed shit today. That's why you won't get to see any climbing. Yeah. But it's our first sort of podcast style video. So you don't necessarily need uh, to watch the video. You can also just listen to it if you want. There's really nothing, uh, nothing crazy happening in the video. Apart from occasionally this, potentially. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, crazy. Should I flex a little bit? No, yes. Yeah. Okay. Or like a dog walking in. But awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally about it. So let us know also what you think about... Um, uh, This format? Yeah, the format, the podcast series-ish. Wir können auch auf Deutsch reden, vielleicht. Also wer, wer es lieber auf Deutsch haben möchte, <lacht> einfach mal drunter kommentieren, bitte. Yeah. Chris really wants to read in German. I think we probably have to start two series. Von Anfang an wollte ich es auf Deutsch. Yeah, yeah. We probably have to start two series, uh, one German podcast series as well, because uh, then our genius humor comes out a bit better. Yeah. yeah. <lacht> But anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time, probably in a couple of weeks or so. For... Um, The next episode we're taking a bit of a break both of us i think yeah a couple of weeks three weeks and then yeah. we'll be back again yeah and it will be great oh it and will I'm be legendary. really looking forward to to uh, england to the uk oh, it's to gonna UK. be so much fun it'll be so good yeah and we will met the strongest woman on earth maybe. yes exactly in climbing exactly yeah. all right peace out guys see ya Cheers! <laughs>